Hello friends. Do you know what time it is? It's the Sum Times Vlog! <laughs> Tyler Evans everybody. We're here having a... What are we doing? Having a relaxing no-cation. <laughs> A non-cation, a daycation. A daycation here at Disney. Day it's not a daycation. It's a daycation at Disneyland. We're going into Toontown, where Tyler has only been once for less than five minutes. Less than five. Yeah. Tyler Evans, the rock journalist, has never looked at Toontown as much as he's doing it right now. I Isn't think that? I get it, but yeah. Why don't you like Toontown, Tyler? Well, I don't not like Toontown. I've just never really experienced it, but I, I kind of think I understand He's it. Never already. experienced Toontown, and what we're all about here at LiveFastDiePoor.com, and also at the Sometimes Vlog. Getting weird and having experiences. It's getting weird about sunglasses like that girl, and we're also all about having some new experiences and new adventures. So today, Tyler's having a new adventure. My shadow's right on your face. Everyone wants to see. No, we don't want to see your face. Having a new adventure right here. In Toontown, let's take a look at it real quick. What do you think, Tyler? It looks pretty pale. How does it come? How does it compare to Marceline, Missouri, for example? Well, to reiterate, it pales. Oh, okay. Hey, why don't you give us a Toontown dance? Oh, um, Toontown. That's the Toontown dance. Now you can all learn and know about the Toon. Town dance. It's a dance at Happenstein. Okay, so Tyler, here we are in downtown Toontown. And we're downtown. It's the part already? of Toontown that's down. Downtown Toontown. Oh. We're in the location of the camera shop. Why don't you why don't you push the doorbell on the camera shop? Well someone's already doing that. Did you see what happened? Okay. okay. What's gonna happen? It's taking their picture. Let's leave Tyler with those kids there, Kevin and his brother Kevin, and let's go over here. What's this? Oh, a glass factory. Be careful. Why well, I want to talk to someone in there. We broke it. We broke the glass. Tyler, go to the dog pound. Okay. You're being a bad boy. I took a picture of someone else's kid. That's weird. Tyler's going into the dog pound. Let's see what he looks like. He looks good in there. We should keep him in there. I am going to, I'm really here just because I want to work out, lift some weight. I can't do it. I'm very scrawny and weak. My gluten free diet has led to a little weight loss. But I'm going to get it back with some peanut butter, some Disneyland popcorn. Is this where Mickey lives? It is where Mickey lives. Mickey lives on the other side of town. Mickey lives across the tracks, if you will. Oh, on the bad part of town? No, in the good part. Of, we're uh, in the bad part of town. Let's we're go, on the wrong side let's of the go through the gag factory to get to Mickey's part of town. I don't know if you saw that, but the lever is not set to smirk. Oh, hello. Here we go. In the gag factory. Plenty of a gaggle of gags inside the gag factory. Plenty of things, wonderful things inside of here. And now we're here in Uptown Toontown, maybe? City Hall. There's Walt Disney's window right there. Oh yeah. Laugh-O-Gram Films Incorporated. Tyler and I actually went to the original Laugh-O-Gram studio we building. We have a brick, dude. We, yeah, we do have a little piece of brick from the original Laugh-O-Gram. Yep. We went to the... I have it on my desk shelf. Well, there's no way to say it. We went to the mansion yeah. of one of the board members for the Laugh-O-Gram charity. They're sexy trying to, billionaire mansion. Sexy billionaire mansion, trying to restore Laugh-O-Gram studios. And he talked to us about his vision uh, for what Laugh-O-Gram should become and sort of pay tribute to Walt and mostly to teach inner city kids really close to the original Laugh-O-Gram studios that Whoa. it's okay to fail, that Walt Disney was poor like them, and that they can grow up and make something of themselves. It's a really, really cool idea. Then move to the we other side of the track. We do have some footage like of that. Guys. We just haven't edited it yet. So pretty soon yeah. that'll be up on the main channel, youtube.com slash Hey, have you seen these? Some random Whoa. land t-shirts. Live fast by poor. That's spreadshirt.com. Yep. For a random land t-shirt. This is a Walt Disney. I had to buy one too. This cost me 14 something. And that's with, and that's with my well I get a little discount. Oh tiny one. I got two dollars off or something off the shirt. And here we are. Here's the main attraction. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the out in the woo sound effect. And that's the house of mouse. Oh, what do you think? I would have thought it would have been a little bigger. If you wait 60 minutes, you too could meet Mickey. 
Oh, nice. 60 minutes, like the old show. Like the old show. 60 minutes. This guy remembers the show. Wow. He remembers 60 minutes. Look at all the strangers. So many strangers. Now these are all going to be my new bestest friends. Look at these bright shirts. Those are the brightest shirts I've ever seen. The awesome shirts. I like them. I like their shirts. I like this place. And I really like Mickey's car. Oh, yeah. Mickey, that's that's got, about Tyler's size. He's got one heck of a car, that mouse. I really enjoy it. This is the exit to Mickey's house. And we're going to stand just inside of the exit. Rebellious. Because there's a little air conditioning right here. Feel the breeze? Oh. Now, Mickey may not have the hugest mansion, but he does have air conditioning. And when you're at Disneyland, in, it's still July, or is it? Uh, it's July, I think. It's Late still July. technically July. It might be August now. It's bad that we don't know. It's, bad, it's really bad that we don't know. So when you're in Disneyland in July, this is a mansion for a mouse. It is a mansion. Well, yeah. If you're only if you're a mouse. Yeah. If you're Mortimer. Yeah. I wonder how Mortimer feels that he didn't get the mansion in He's Disneyland. He's still hanging out in that wastebasket. <laughs> That's true. All right, guys. I dropped my glasses in heat water. I think sometimes. <laughs> it's true. He dropped his sunglasses into a urinal, or yep. in England, a urinal. A urinal. I'm still wearing them though. I washed them three times. He washed them three times. Here's a question for you, Internet. Oh, hello. Yay! If your glasses fall in a urinal, is washing them three times enough? I'm not going to throw them away. That's the real question today. That should be the new thing trending on Twitter because we need an answer to this question and we as a society have to come together and answer it. It's three times enough to wash glasses that fell in a urinal and then put them back on your face. I did it. I'm rebellious, dude. All Rebel right. without a cause. Sometimes it's over. This is now a time for well, can be rebel sweating glasses. out there. So thank you for joining us for this past seven minutes. That's Sorry we time. rambled on a long time. Sorry I had to look at Tyler for some of that time. I love Bye. you.